Well, my name is Joseph Valenti. I'm the Vice President of Education of the Lumberg Project. And today we're starting our Intro to Bio series. We're talking about something called Punnett Squares. This is actually a very fun uh, bio concept. Um, it actually is the way that you can predict traits that people will have, actually, based on their parents' traits. Um, so you actually can start out by drawing a simple square like this. And you divide it up into four boxes like that. So a common one is your height. So you can say that the capital T here is the tall gene, and the lowercase t equals the short gene. So let's say simply both your parents are very tall. Your mom and your dad will say this is your dad, this is your mom. Uh, they're both tall, pretty much you theoretically have a 100% chance of being tall, right? But now, because we said the tall is the dominant trait, but now let's say each of your parents, let's say your, your parents are pretty, they have the tall trait, but they have the recessive trait, which is the shorter trait, right? So that means that you could have, be, have both tall, which means you're going to be tall. You can have a tall and a short, but because it's the dominant trait, you'll still be tall, um, you can have, again, the T, the capital T, lowercase t, which means you'll be tall. Or you're going to have two lowercase t's, which means you have a 25% chance here of being short. OK, so we have that. So now both of your parents are short. I'll make the box a little bit better. If you're, both of your parents are short, again, that goes along the lines of if both of your parents are tall here, you have a 100% chance, theoretically, of being on the shorter side. Um, so another trait is eye color. Um, a lot of times you can say the brown eye trait is the dominant color. So you can say brown, and then little b is like green, we'll say, in this case, is like a recessive trait. Then you can have B and B, right? So let's say similar situation, right? You have the dominant tall with the recessive short. You have the dominant brown with the recessive green, or let's say blue, because B and B. Um, you can have both brown eyes, big brown eye, blue or green eye, but we'll say blue, brown blue, or two blue. So this shows that because brown's dominant, you have the 75% chance of having brown eyes, but you do have a 25% chance of having the blue eyes from your parents. Um, so that goes into Punnett squares. Um, another thing with Punnett squares, another trait would be hair color, which goes along the same lines of um, with the, uh, the eye color as well as the tall trait. So. With hair color, draw it again. Let's say a lot of people have brown hair. So brown hair is the dominant color, and any other color hair would be the recessive here. So you have B, 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 and two lowercase b's. So you have a 25% chance of having non-brown color, but you do have a 75% chance of having that brown color. Um, so that goes into how traits that you have from your parents can actually dictate what percent chance you will have because of their traits. Um, so a lot of these can be predicted with height, um, with um, uh, eye color. Now these are simple physical traits, which are very easy to do Punnett squares on because there are obviously many different genes that control many different things in the body. But these are something that could actually be fun, and they tend to be very fun problems to do. Um, just remember, when you do a Punnett square, draw your, your four box, right? your square box with the cross through the middle. Um, that sets up four boxes that show the traits. And you make label one M for mother, and D for father, for your parents. And you could kind of see, based on them, actually what kind of traits you would have. Uh, that you, that what percent chance of the traits that you have was possible. Um, but sometimes you could have them that skip a generation, but this can be something fun to do. 
um, some fun problems to do by drawing. Ooh, that was fun. 